Hey guys and welcome to Aussie Reviews. Today I'm checking out the Olight Swivel Pro Max Lite. Now this is how it comes in the box, so let's uh, just unbox it and I'll show you exactly what comes with it. So we've pretty much only got three things in the box. We've got the USB charging cable, we've got the manual, and then we've got the light itself. So looking at the light itself, now it's got an arm that folds out here so you can have it at various different angles and it just clicks into place. It also rotates 150 degrees, so depending on your situation there, obviously you can uh, adjust it to uh, your needs. Now we've got a hook here, so you can just uh, push that out. We've got some quite strong magnets there, so you, know, you can attach it to various uh, metal surfaces. The light itself, um, very easy to operate. We've got a single operating button just to the side here, and at the top we've just got a rubber flap there that encases the uh, USB uh, ports. Now, as for dimensions, when it is folded, it's uh, 6.3 inches uh, in length, or about 160 millimeters, four inches in width, or 102 millimeters, roughly, uh, 2.17 inches uh, high, or 55 millimeters. Now, the overall weight of it, 590 grams or around 20.8 ounces. So look, it's not one of these lights that, you know, certainly uh, going to weigh you down. Not like that at all. You could easily have this in a backpack, um, you know, or just, uh, you know, in the glove compartment of your uh, car or, or whatever, you know. It's just not going to weigh you down and it's not overbearing in the size. Now, for me, I wanted a light that I can use uh, and just attach to, you know, like the... The ute, so if I'm working on some game that I've just shot, like if I'm trying to skin and gut and prepare, um, you know, I want that independent light. Obviously, you know, a torch and you're trying to um, you know, <laughs> balance that between your neck and your shoulder can be a bit uh, cumbersome. So, you know, if you've got something like this, it definitely has a big advantage in many different situations from, you know, changing a flat tire to having around the campsite where you're just not going to have to use a torch for your primary source of light in that area. Now we've got uh, six modes with this. Like most Olight products, you know, they've got a turbo mode, uh, the high mode, medium mode, low, and then you've got red light and then a flashing red light. So the lumens for each one of them range from 50 being the um, uh, flashing red and obviously just the red light to low being like 45 lumens right up to turbo being 1600 lumens so there's a fair bit of uh, you know power coming out of these that's for sure for run times uh, the turbo uh, mode runs for about 10 minutes and then it'll drop down uh, from there to about 63% and run for about 240 minutes. So any of the details on these Olight products, you've just got all the run times on the back of the box. So I'm not going to go through them absolutely verbatim because uh, I'll probably bore the death out of you there. Um, the real test is going to be when we get it out on the farm and use it in practical um, you know, scenarios. Now the uh, maximum throw on this is about 50 metres. However, Keep in mind, you know, this sort of light is far from a spotlight. It's more used in your immediate vicinity to be able to, you know, change a tire, uh, prepare some meat or do some skinning, uh, you know, or if you're doing uh, some mechanics under your vehicle or, or a tractor or something like that, or just around the campsite, you know, hooking up over one of the uh, tent poles. You know, this is what I see this light being used for. So we've got a uh, 80 centimetre drop resistance uh, rating with it. I mean, look, it feels pretty sturdy, that's for sure. Uh, IPX4 rated, so you know, you're not going to have problems with this being out in the weather. And um, that's pretty much about it, guys. At the time of doing this review, um, like most of the time, Olight, uh, you know, have new products, they end up having a flash sale where you can end up like saving some really decent coin. So this light uh, is obviously made in China. The retail price on it is $129.95. But currently at the time of doing this review, and the link is just down in the description, I'll put it uh, there on YouTube so you can see it. It's currently 25% off. So you can get it by clicking the link uh, below for $97.46. Uh, so, you know, there's some genuine savings to be had. Anyhow, the proof will be uh, in the pudding, so to speak, guys. Let's get down on the farm now, and I'll show you a few different scenarios with it. 
Okay, so as you can see here, guys, at the back of the ute, now I've been able to hook it over one of the ears on the tray, and because I've got the angle adjustment, you can just easily adjust it to whatever angle you want. So I've just adjusted it down there so we've got light on the back of the tray. So, you know, if you're doing anything in the back of the ute, for example, absolutely perfect. So what I'll do now is just toggle through the different modes, okay? So we've got medium, high, turbo, then it goes back to low, but if you hold the button down, it'll go into the red light, okay? And if you just click the button again, oh, it'll go off. <laughs> it'll, yeah, you just gotta click it again and then it'll go into uh, the flashing mode. So, yeah, which is still bright. So, I mean, if you had this in a scenario where, yeah, geez, like, honestly, like, what if you were broken down somewhere and you had no uh, power in your car there and your hazards uh, weren't working, you just had a flashing light that you could alert people, oncoming uh, vehicles and stuff with. I, I think it's a fantastic idea. So, yeah, to get back there, all we do is we just hold it down. It'll go back to the white light there. Like, just really, really simple. So, um, yeah, I think this is a perfect uh, example of one of the many scenarios this light can be used in. So if you've got an aluminium tray like I do, all you need to do is just angle it at the back there and it'll just hook straight over it. So once again, you're going to have that light on the external of your vehicle. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap up my final thoughts on this light. Now, look, there's numerous scenarios that I can show you it working in. However, you know, the light is exactly the same. So it doesn't matter whether you're working under the hood of a car or, you know, under some machinery, or you've simply got it hanging over the back of the ute because you're, you know, butchering, or you're out fishing, you might have it at the back of the ute there, so when you're doing your filleting or whatever, there's just so many uses for it. The fact that you've got a hook there for it, and you've also got some really strong magnets just makes it absolutely perfect in numerous situations. So the light that I've got on me now from this is on the high mode. You get absolute hours and hours of runtime from it uh, in that mode, and I think that's ample for around the campsite. Behind me, you can see, like, if this was a campsite, you would have more than enough light to be able to just do things around the campsite without trying to balance a torch in between your neck or your shoulders, or even if you do have a headlamp on, that's all well and good. There are scenarios to use that, but if you've got a couple of friends around the campsite and you're all you know, preparing uh, part of the evening uh, meal or whatever you're doing, there's light for everyone. So that's where this sort of light comes in handy. Now, uh, as I said, there is a big flash sail on. Guys, the light works exactly as I've shown you here. If it didn't, then you would see it. I've had one Olight product that I didn't like and I showed you that on film. So have a look at uh, this for what it really is. There's numerous situations if you want an affordable camp uh, light or, you know, out for, for butchering, etc., etc., I cannot see you going wrong with this light. Anyhow, guys, we'll put the link, as I say, in uh, the description on YouTube. And if you're interested, at the time of doing this review, they've got a flash sale on, so you can genuinely save yourself some good money off the recommended retail price. All right, guys, we'll leave it at that. Hope you enjoyed watching it. So, till next time, we'll catch you then.